Christ's two tabernacles side by side and the mystical theology of the ongoing Stations of the Cross. Overnight and in the morning on a Sunday of Atonement in suburban Detroit on September the 10th, 2017. There is a very spiritually profitable treasonous priest search and rescue operation by Christ's United States Soul Guard here in this archdiocese in Detroit, and it was unexpected, but went very well. It had been recently revealed by our Lord that the reparation being made was exponential in nature, and there will be more about that later while making a holy hour in the small chapel back home. But first, a later start that goes from Mount Calvary to the pillar. Our Lord suddenly reveals at the pillar all the sins taking place around the world. What a sight that leaves you speechless, which is suddenly followed by all the good that is happening around the world at that moment. Imagine. A morning offering before the devotion to the holy face of Jesus at home in the living room. Even though it has gotten late, there is a very welcome stop to offer the day to Almighty God there where heaven meets earth, and it is very homey and very welcoming, in imitation of being before the high altar at the SSPX Catholic Church, named after St. Joseph, which celebrates the Tridentine Holy Sacrifice of the Mass seven days a week, with absolutely no nonsense. It is here in the presence of Almighty God so familiar that you are glad to be with Him and so glad to have something to offer Him in union with Christ. At this time, as the spiritual battle for Catholic Detroit continues and as several high-ranking demons are being defeated, it is suddenly presented that everything belongs to God. A holy hour in the chapel back home later that afternoon and the mystical theology of the ongoing Stations of the Cross. It is so blissfully quiet and peaceful and isolated in the chapel, and a joy to join our Lord within and be with him in this manner, meaning visiting his real presence in the Blessed Sacrament, as he continues to mystically suffer until the end of time for our sake. It is then presented in the holy silence that there are two tabernacles side by side in the chapel, one containing his real presence that is positioned in between the church and the chapel, and you who are unified with Christ in three vital ways, sacramentally with his real presence in the Blessed Sacrament, with his salvific mission, and with his reparative suffering, the flesh of his sacred flesh, who shares his ongoing mystical suffering for the sake of the whole world. You are inspired to begin by making an act of contrition, not the first one today, as an act of devotion offered to Almighty God through Christ crucified there on Mount Calvary. Everything is so unifying and so meaningful, so purposeful and so peaceful. Almighty God is presented what he is asking for and now the prayers of reparation to the holy face of Jesus are offered for the sake of all and for all those affected by the natural disasters. The following takes place as so many things do, as one would follow one's partner who leads in the most beautiful dance. You appeal to Almighty God who sees and knows all things, before whom nothing is hidden, to make you there on Mount Calvary a pure vessel, a proper channel, and a noble example. The mystical theology of the ongoing Stations of the Cross through time until the end of time. Everything is so beautiful during this time with our Lord in this chapel, which you and your family used to call home for a decade, which seems now like a lifetime ago. There in the chapel, the Stations of the Cross are suddenly presented one after another as you begin praying the Chaplet of Divine Mercy while meditating on Christ's sacred passion his two tabernacles containing his real presence, side by side, there where heaven meets earth at the inner sanctum for crucified souls on Mount Calvary. They are manifested in different places around this small chapel you are so fond of, 
and which has such a happy history, for it is here that the incredible events began, which led up to Almighty God our Father of Mercies, reintroducing his work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus in 2012 here in suburban Detroit, for the sake of the whole world in our time, which is in very serious trouble from inside of Christ's Catholic churches, which have been desecrated by modernist abominations, on out. The Stations of the Cross are now presented to your spiritual vision all around this chapel, and it is manifested also that they are ongoing. They are ongoing each time the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is celebrated, each time there is a sacramental confession, each time one of Christ's sacraments are celebrated, each time the Chaplet of Divine Mercy or the Holy Rosary are offered, each time the work of reparation to the Holy Face of Jesus is honored. Then it is revealed that the Stations of the Cross continue to be manifested through Christ within each one who makes reparation in the manner that Almighty God wills, with purity of intention and devoid of self-interest. The scope of this revelation is unfathomable and so supernaturally remarkable, and even more so when considering what our Lord recently presented, that our good works and sacrifices, unified with His, are exponentially effective. Divine union with the cause of the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, the work of reparation to His holy face, and the unique role of the repentant sinner. The following has been presented to the student teacher several times in the past, but has not been included in any of the published mystical theology lessons because of its potential to cause scandal among some learned theologians. Once again, as the sinner with a fallen human nature is unified with Christ's cause and makes reparation as one for the sake of man, he cannot ever be the sinner, but is unified with the one who can. The great secret of Almighty God, our Father of mercies, work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus. The sacrificially loving suffering of atonement is divinely, supernaturally exponential in nature. This is also the secret of Christ's ongoing mystical suffering in the Blessed Sacrament until the end of time and an incredible facet of his promise to remain with us always. Now, pair the two, meaning the ongoing reparative suffering of Jesus, our Redeemer, Restorer, Remedy for All, Divine Physician, High Priest, Teacher, and the Divine Bridegroom of every soul, and each person's work of reparation made and offered, as God our Sovereign Authority and Eternal Father wills, with purity of intention and devoid of self-interest and what do you get? Just imagine. Trust all things to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and to Mary, help of Christians, and you will see what miracles are. St. John Bosco. To learn more about Almighty God, our Father of Mercies, work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus, and your vital, irreplaceable, indispensable, and God-given Holy Apostolate of Reparation, and so much more, visit www.josephcarlpublishing.com. Jesus said to Sister Mary of St. Peter, By my holy face you will work wonders, appease the anger of God, and draw down mercy on sinners. And he still means it.